sweetie pie. Grandma Suzanne here, looking a little peaked. Not peaked, but I just mowed the lawn, so I'm a little bit grassy and such. But I'll put the light on. That's a good idea. You have the best ideas. So what's new? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What's new? What did you do today? Did you go to the library? You did? Hmm, I wonder how I knew that. Your mom told me. She sent me a little video and I watched it about 16,000 times. And I didn't go to the library today. But guess who's going to the library with you this week? Yes, me and your mom and you, and you're gonna get your summer reading packet stuff, and we're gonna do anything else that we haven't done for it so that you can get even more badges. And I can read you a book right now. You want me to? Okay, why not? But first, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what else. Are you excited about a certain little car ride you're taking tomorrow? Well, I know the people at the other end are very excited that you're doing a car ride. I just couldn't even wait one day. I just had to see you. I just had to talk to you. I had to picture hugging you. Love you so much. Well, I have a book right here. I don't know if we've read it or not. I think we might have. But Color Farm. Color Farm. I think that is supposed to be a chicken. It is very interesting that they made this chicken out of a few little geometric shapes, part of a circle. I don't know what this shape is called. This is part of a circle, sort of. Diamond, triangle, triangle, etc., etc., and an octagon right in the center there, and a circle for the eye. And this is a barn. Rectangles, trapezoid, and triangle. D triangles. Do you see the trapezoid? I thought you would. No, it's a parallelogram. That's not a trapezoid, that's a parallelogram. You know, they say that kids on the summer break forget the math that they knew. No, it's not supposed to happen to a math tutor. I'm just saying. It's not supposed to happen to um, somebody who is a grandmother of someone named Isaac. So... Uh, forgive me, it's temporary lapse. Let's blame it on inhaling too many lawnmower fumes. Color Farm by Lois Ellert. I think we've read something by her before. Color Farm. And look, you turn the page and see the square, the cutaway square. Now it's orange. And here orange, darker orange, and green, color farm, all these shapes, parallelogram, triangle, rectangle, square, etc. On this farm, you can view animal ears and whiskers too. That's curious. Lots of animals to be found, shapes and colors all around. Look at beaks and snouts with me. Make some more for us to see. I guess that means we can make shapes. We'll get some, we'll do this once, one time. We'll get colorful shapes and make a color farm. That would be fun. Oh, we could make a color farm. We could make a color Keats farm. Rooster, what shapes? Hexagon, octagon, triangle, 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 parallelogram, and so on and so on. Black square, duck. Look at that, we took away one thing, and now it's a duck. Oh, this is cool. We'll take away another chicken. Oh, they're naming the things again. 
octagon, hexagon, square, and a circle in the center. Look at that. That looks like a dog. Oh, it says dog under my hand. Wonder what's gonna happen when we take the dog, the, the, this circle away. Goose. Sheep. Heart, diamond, circle, diamond, heart. Cat, kind of. Why, because it has triangular ears and a whiskers? It's a little bit of a stretch, but we like to stretch, so that's okay. Cow. Oh, my chickens are reminding me I promised them they could stroll and I forgot to let them out. I mowed the lawn, came and sat down and decided to talk to my little Isaac and forgot to let them out not for their evening stroll. So I'm gonna go do that right after this. Cow. You gotta help me with this one here. Oh, oh, I see. Cow, this is sort of the nose or whatever. Yeah, I could sort of see it. Not bad. Pig. Oh, they're stretching, but we like to stretch like we've ascertained. Okay. Rectangle, oval, oval, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, oval, oval, rectangle, triangle. Triangle. Fun book. Rooster, chicken, goose, duck. Looks like a flower. Cat, dog, sheep, pig, cow, Sheep. Nice book. This was a very nice book. Color Farm. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to do something while you're right there. I'm going to look. Oh. oh, there's a picture of a little boy named Isaac. He's right there. I mean, oh, my baby boy. He's so cute. Okay, now. Oh, if I could control myself. What I'm going to do is put this. Does that block you? Can you see it if I do this? Yeah, I think you can. I'm going to go to. Nah, it'll be. It, it takes. Well, yeah, it would. It takes too much time. I'll do it in the next one. I'll figure out what other things we need to do for your, um, for your uh, um, summer reading badges. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to put this down because it's too distracting. No, I think I'll keep it there. Look at these stickers I just found. I don't know where they came from. They were sitting right on the table. Well, they'll be fun to use. Let's see if I have another little book I can read to you while before I go outside and do a little bit more work until it gets dark, which it gets dark kind of early. From Sea to Pumpkin. I am planting pumpkin seeds tonight. Even if it's too late, so what? So they'll be green. At least we'll have some. I got all these great pumpkin seeds last year and I didn't plant them yet. Where did I get the seeds? From the pumpkins. It's so cool. We'll do that this year. Cut up, open the pumpkin, get out the seeds. They're all stringy and stuff. You wash them and rinse them, then you let them dry. And then you plant them the next year and bam! I do have a pumpkin growing out of the compost pile. Wait till you see. Its leaves are huge. Its leaves are like this, and it fills the whole way. I could barely get the lawnmower through it. I had to pick it up and put it into the compost pile. It's very exciting. I don't know how I'm going to do it next week when it gets twice as big, but it's a good problem to have pumpkins growing everywhere. From seed to pumpkin. See, they're taking the seeds out. You can eat the seeds too. Usually you like to uh, roast them first. There's are different kinds of seed packets because different pumpkins have different names. Jack-o'-lantern, Cinderella pumpkin, that's, I think that's a little one. Anyway, 
When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Unless you're a grum who's a little bit behind with things, and then you're planting them at the end of the summer, hoping that you get them, what, in November? Well, we'll see. We'll cover them with plastic, and they'll be nice and warm, and who knows, maybe they'll grow. But at least we'll get vines. It's fun. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. See that? Those are the seeds. They start to sprout. See the earthworm? And they start to send out little roots. The rain helps them grow. And then... What's she showing? She's showing you the little little roots. And she's showing you, I think, that you can also do it in a... In a Oh, I see. We didn't read that. That's why I don't know what it's saying. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open. Stems sprout up. Roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. I did not know that. So that's why they're showing the little girl drinking from a straw. And they're saying that the roots are little tubes and it works the same way. This is a good book. I didn't know it was going to have so much information, and it's all, we're only on, like, page two. I'm going to continue it when I come back, because I did promise those little chickens a stroll, and it gets dark earlier and earlier. So, thank you for spending this time with me, my sweetie pie. And tomorrow, guess what I'm going to tell you? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. How was the drive? How was Nellie? How was your dad? How was the beautiful, fun drive? in the car with your mom? How was the weather? How was the library yesterday? And then we're going to go to the library maybe tomorrow. So I hope you have a splendid night. Splendid, splendid. You might want to go to bed early. It might be a very good idea. Um, I love you so much, sweetie pie. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye bye, sweetie. Bye bye bye. Oh, no French. I didn't do any French. Pourquoi pas? Pourquoi pas? Je sais pas. Je sais pas. Mais, mais nous pouvons parler pour quelques minutes maintenant, n'est-ce pas? Pourquoi pas? Nous pouvons parler. Pourquoi pas? Bon. Maintenant, je vais au mes poulets pour que les poulets peuvent promener. Promener, promener les petites poulets. Oui. Et aussi, I am going to collect tomatoes, because they're ripe, many ripe tomatoes, and blackberries. I'm going to go pick those now before it gets dark. So, but first, I'm going to say I love you to bits. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, sweetie. Bye. I love you so much. Can't say goodbye. Can't say goodbye. I guess uh, your mom and your dad may have evidence of that in other ways. Now you have evidence of it. I can't say goodbye. I just can't. You're on the screen. Perhaps if you weren't on the screen, I could do it, but I can't. But I'll try. Okay, here I go. Bye, sweetie. Bye.